for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymadencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Open Team video. And today, we got another market video for you guys. Now, I know I just made one recently, and I tried not to be repetitive with that, but I did predict a few days ago, I mean, don't kill me for saying the word predict because it was kind of obvious, but I did say that the market was going to die after the draft promo in this weekend's Ultimate Legend packs. Well, it didn't even get to Saturday. It already died, and I actually think it will get worse tomorrow. So I'm going to give you guys my opinions for now, what I believe to, you should do. But if you really want to take the chance, wait till tomorrow when the packs drop because things might get ugly tomorrow in this market. Now, if you guys haven't already, go drop the like button. Go drop a sub and hit the like button for me. Let's get us to 50 likes this video. Also, comment down below what you guys think. What do you guys think of what I'm saying? And if you have any feedback and if you actually think there's better ways or better times to wait for. But let me jump right into this. So first off, the draft happened last night. I have mixed feelings. Probably save my reaction for another video on that just because I'm a Giants fan. I don't really want to talk about it right now. I'll get into that for too long. Now, what the players that came out in the draft last night that came into this game through the pick system, they're pretty cool and it kind of killed the market. And by kind, I mean it did kill the market. And actually, by tomorrow, by tomorrow, it might be completely dead if they drop Ultimate Legend packs too, which they're obviously going to. So if I head into this market right now, Head over to Program NFL Draft. I'll show you the draft first. And we got, because of 98.99. And we got Joey Bosa at 214. It's pretty cheap. But these new players, what I want to show you. So there's the Cleveland Faro, Nick Bosa. We got Quinn and Williams. Where Devin White. Where are we at? Where are we at? So many other players involved. And then we got the Kyler Murray right here. So. Kyler Murray is going for 400k. So, as far as these players go, they're not cheap. I would probably wait for them to come down more. You know, they're still a hype. Then again, if you can't, if there's not any ways to get them anytime soon, if they end up getting rid of it, they actually go back. It can go up. So, stay on the lookout for that if you want any of these cards. I personally want the Kyler Murray kind of. So I'll, think, I'll be thinking about that. But that, I'm just showing you guys the cards that killed the market. Now let me show you where the market was actually affected. Because clearly the new cards never actually kill the market. The new cards don't actually get affected. They just kill other cards. So if we go over to Ultimate Legends 98 to 99, look at these prices. 195k for Deacon Jones, 211k for Walter Payton. Like they were already on the come down, right? But you can see right here that these are already coming down. And these might look normal to you. But look at the higher end cards that got killed by the new skill position players. Michael Vick is 270k. I told you guys he was going to come down to below 300 to probably the 250 range to 280 range. So there you go. That is already happening. And then let's go see Deion Sanders and Lawrence Taylor. Lawrence Taylor's down to 340. Had to reach 370. Deion's still pretty high because he's Deion Sanders and so is Randy Moss. But as you can see, the market's already on the come down. It's already happening. And I think the Ultimate Legend packs tomorrow might just put the final nail in the coffin and might really send this market into a spiral. Now, I've been thinking about if I should pick up this Vic myself. I don't know. I just don't, I just don't play enough gameplay anymore to really justify having this Vic, I don't think. Right? Do I? I don't know. Maybe I'll wait a little longer. Maybe tomorrow he'll go down even more. He probably will go down more tomorrow, so that's what I'm going to probably wait for. And if we go to these 96, 97s, if you ever wanted one of those 97 Ultimate Legends, now would be the time to pick it up. So they're kind of flooded with these 96. Now, but look, Javon Curse is 131K. I just sold my Andre Reed for 134K. There's a Kellen Winslow right there. Every, well, every 97 is practically below 150. The majority are there around 150 at least. Obviously, some are higher than others. That is unreal. These prices are crazy down right now. Now, I think, like I've been saying, I think we could wait it out till tomorrow. And if we can, because it doesn't look, typically the way this works is if a draft promo happens last night, right? It kills the market last night and then a little bit this morning. And then it typically slows down around one. If it's just off the draft promo, it slows down about one and then people start to stop undercutting and price start coming back up. But no one, no one's stopping. It's kind of just like there. It seems like it might be like the natural curve of the market. Like it actually might just, just be here now. And then with the Ultimate Legend packs, the Ultimate Legend packs will give you that temporary jerk, uh, drop again, like the dip in price. So I think tomorrow's when you strike it Saturday morning. Like I've been saying, which is pretty obvious. But if you wanted to pick up one now, I wouldn't really tell you you were wrong for doing so. 
Now I'm hoping if I can see Vic down to about 230k tomorrow, 205, 230, I will gladly scoop that Vic up, prop most likely, for the team just to have the Vic. It might be a move considering it is Michael Vic for that cheap. Now, if you want any of the draft play, pl um, players, I'll give you some prices where I'm looking at them right now. I kind of want Daniel Jones. Not that I'm happy about picking him, but I am a Giants fan, so I want to do a Giants squad builder. He would be a cool quarterback to have because he's obviously a lot better than Eli in this game. And Dexter Lawrence. He doesn't look too bad himself in this game. And we also got the other guy too, which I believe is a slightly lower overall. Now, Daniel Jones is right over here and Dwayne Haskins. So Dwayne Haskins is going for 141 for 96 overall. 96 overall should be going for about 100k flat so i mean they're kind of overpriced right now but you gotta understand they just came out literally less than like 12 hours ago well no they did come out around 12 hours ago a little after maybe 14 so if you want to wait i would i would actually advise waiting Andrew jones ooh, is 180 97 overall should be about 140k 130k so again they're all a little overpriced this doesn't look too horrible though if i want to do a giants theme so that's really not bad. Now, the higher tier cards in this draft are obviously the 98 99s. Like I said, Nick Bosa 209. A 98 overall should be going for about. A, actually, a 98 overall for this price is kind of normal. Anywhere between 180 and 200K is where I'd spend for a 98 overall. So Nick Bosa is not too far off if you want him. Or even Cleveland Farrell. Everything after that I might wait on though. Like, um, if you want to get Devin White, let's see his stats actually. Oh wow, 95 speed. He's going to be an insane user. Wow. It's gonna be a 99 speed user. Was it say was the Shazier wasn't even a 99 speed user yet? Oh shit, actually if you haven't maxed out probably. Okay, so anything after that I probably wait because like these are obviously going for over 300 k Like this Kyler Murray, which does look like a really good car, but I mean it's kinda like a Vic, right? If I had to imagine it's probably like a Vic. Okay, he has better speed than Vic. But if you compare him to their other Vic. The other Vic would have better speed. Or maybe the same speed. Yeah, same speed. Same accuracy. He does have a better medium accuracy. Better better deep accuracy, yeah. Hmm. This card's insane. Wow, this card's better than Vic. And I know the other Vic. It's better than the other Vic, too. What's his, what's his other stats? These matter, too. Agility's good. We got... The jumping's kind of low, but I mean, jumping with a quarterback's just suicide at this point. Better elusiveness. Spin move. Ooh, he doesn't meet the spin move threshold, but I mean, maybe... Oh, you can't even power him up. Oh, wait, you can't even power these cards up, which means no no, no sprint or anything. So, never mind. Vic, you're still the king. You are still the king, my man. All right. He has a good break tackle. Ooh, he breaks the threshold. He had threshold for break tackle, too. That's pretty good. Max out throw under pressure. All right, Kyler Murray, you were almost a god. You were so close, but you can't get, you can't be powered up. So that kind of kills your value to an extent. Let's, well, I want to see the ones lower. I actually haven't looked at those yet. We got the 94, 95s. All right. There should be some here, right? Okay. Yeah. We got Josh Jacobs, the running back. Mm, I thought his stats would, I thought it would have a little faster, but for 91 K, they should definitely be down here. They should be more like the 70 overalls. I mean, 70 K. So they're not too far off. But again, unless you're, unless you're building your... I mean, if you're building your draft squad, by all means, go ahead and do you. Get your team going. Darnell Savage, Titus Howard. I kind of want to see that cornerback the Giants drafted. DeAndre Baker right there. Down to speed. Okay, I could make a really good giants theme team now with these three picks in the first round. Who else do we got? Who, who is the Who's the overpriced ones here? This, this, this pick still confuses me here. So, Montez Sweat... So yeah, if I were you guys, I would just wait. I would wait on all these cards. Give it like another day or two. Wow, 98 speed. I would give it like another day or two, in my personal opinion. Let, let it keep coming down. Let people still keep working up, getting some more players if it's possible. Pretty sure it is. Because at the current standing, you'll be overpaying. And with the Ultimate Legend packs tomorrow, if you want an Ultimate Legend card, I would wait for that too. Because tomorrow is going to get a lot worse, in my opinion. By a lot, maybe not. But it's Vic from two, Vic from 330, 380-ish. So 230 is a set. It's a snag in my opinion. I would just wait. Combine the draft, uh, the the draft players with the newer draft players, and then you also combine that with the fact that there's going to be ultimate legend packs tomorrow. All that together should just completely kill the market. It's getting kind of harder to enjoy playing and auctioning now with the way the market just dies on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not as consistent as it used to be, and everyone everyone can literally have any player they want now.
You know what I'm saying? Like, every player is the same exact price. I mean, it's gotten worse than it's been in the prior months, but that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have been enjoying these market videos and a little insight on what my personal opinion on everything is. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you've enjoyed the content, make sure to like. Let's get us to 50 likes. Make sure to comment down below your feedback on what player you're going to be getting or what you guys think I said wrong. Some feedback, anything you guys think, any different trend you're seeing. And also, make sure to subscribe. Still going for 3K. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.